Russia and China veto a UN resolution vote calling on Syria's President Assad to go. Tens of thousands on the streets of Moscow in rallies for and against Prime Minister Putin. The U.S. President Barack Obama has led Western condemnation of the Syrian regime after one of the bloodiest attacks there since the uprising began 10 months ago. Opposition groups say at least 60 people were killed by security forces in the city of Homs. President Obama said it was an unspeakable assault. A U.N. resolution calling for an immediate end to the violence was vetoed by Russia and China, provoking a furious response from Western governments who said they were selling out the Syrian people. From Beirut, Jim Mir reports. Human rights groups called it a massacre. The violence erupted in the middle of the night, buildings were hit and set on fire in what activists called the most violent shelling of the city in months of defiance. One resident, who we can't name, said it came out of the blue. Oh, oh my God. Suddenly, uh, two hours ago, and more, maybe, or maybe uh, three hours ago, started, started uh, this shelling. Field hospitals desperately tried to cope with a deluge of wounded. Appeals were put out for blood donations. Other medical supplies were also said to be running out. Activists posted video footage, too gruesome for us to show, of many dead bodies sprawled in pools of blood. <laughs> Later in the day, funerals were held for those killed. They may have been fewer than the 200 or even 300 initially reported, but there was international outrage. President Obama called the attack unspeakable. He said President Assad must stand down. Syria accused the opposition of staging the violence in Homs to influence heated discussions at the UN Security Council. The Americans and their allies were seeking a tough resolution on Syria, despite resistance from the Russians and Chinese. They've now vetoed it. As a tyrant in Damascus brutalizes his own people, America and Europe stand shoulder to shoulder. We are united alongside the Arab League in demanding an end to the bloodshed and a democratic future for Syria. <laughs> But as the violence continues, the pressure on the Russians is building up. They've announced that their foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov, will hold talks with President Assad in Damascus on Tuesday to try to find a political way out. Jim Muir, BBC News, Beirut. And the BBC's Paul Wood is inside the city of Homs. Well, we are in fact now inside the city of Homs. Uh, there's a little bit of random gunfire going on now as I speak. And as we came in, we heard a lot of heavy machine gun fire and some loud explosions. Parts of the city which oppose the regime are now virtually cut off. And we came in through a very elaborate route, which I won't describe in too much detail, with activists and with members of the Free Syrian Army, as it describes itself, bringing in medicines and um, blood supplies, which... Uh, people had donated that morning in the villages surrounding Homs. Um, the government, the Syrian government, as you say, does claim that um, claims of a massacre are fabricated, that the bodies uh, were people kidnapped by rebel fighters, uh, all this kind of thing, whereas the, uh, the opposition side is saying in, in, its, in its view that it was a massacre. Thousands of people have marched through Moscow in protest against Russia's Prime Minister Vladimir Putin, who's standing for the presidency next month. The demonstrators say parliamentary elections.